Hello, my friends. For this lesson, you are going to read a story called The Ground Squirrel. You, I'm sure, have seen many squirrels uh, running around by where you live. So this is a story where someone is talking about an experience they had with a ground squirrel. Now, you are going to be actually writing on the text in your Kami assignment, just like you've done many times before. A reminder, if you want to listen to it, use that link to open it up and listen to it, but then make sure you do come back to the Kami assignment to actually do your work. Now, what you are doing for your work is to, oh no, I closed it. One second, fifth graders. Let me reopen my closed tab, see if that worked. There we go. So you are going to circle or underline the details that tell you it's a personal narrative. And apparently Mrs. Morrison needs to work on her line drawing skills. So personal narrative. Now you might wonder, what is a personal narrative? Well, <clears throat> It is a story that describes the writer's actions, thoughts, and feelings during an important event or period. So you're hearing about what a person thinks, essentially, okay? What they did, what they thought, what they felt during a certain time of their life, maybe when they were a kid, maybe something they went through as an adult. It can have graphic features to support understanding. So pictures um, maybe of that event that they went through in their life. It is written in the first person point of view. So it uses the word I. So they're saying, I did this or I felt this or sometimes we went somewhere, we did this, we felt that, we thought this. So I and we are good clues that it is from that first person point of view. They are telling their own story and they'll describe events in chronological order. So first, next, then. So they're not skipping around, they're telling them to you like in the order that they happened. The book we're reading for read aloud one crazy summer is a personal narrative personal narratives can be true or they can be fiction you could have a sort of a true personal narrative that someone went through or something like diary of a wimpy kid where he's it's fiction but he's telling you about what he went through what he did what he thought what he felt <clears throat> so for your assignment you are going to go to the story and you are going to underline or circle things that tell you it is a it is in um, it's a personal narrative. So notice it tells you in the introduction in this personal narrative, a Native American woman of da the Dakota tribe recounts an incident from her childhood. So like I said, it's uh, during an important event or period. So in this case, it was during her childhood. Um, so maybe you underline my mother because it's something my, I, 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 I did that. So examples of a personal narrative. Um, and you can continue to look for different things. You may want to pull this up and maybe pause the video and have it for you to refer to so you can see some examples of what you are looking for. Graphic features. Um, what did she do? What did she think? What did she feel? Um, it, where do you see I, we, me, my? All clues that it's first person. And where does she describe things in chronological order? Those are all clues that you will be looking for in this assignment. All right. Good luck. You can do it.